What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to solve the last layer of your Rubik's Cube. So at this point you should have the first two layers solved. If not, go watch my previous videos. The first one shows you how to solve the cross. Second one shows you how to solve the first layer. And then the third one shows you how to solve the second layer. So today's video is gonna be showing you how to solve the third layer, which is basically the rest of the cube. Now this video is gonna be a bit longer than the other ones because there's a lot more steps involved, but I kinda of wanted to just get this video series out of the way since it had already been a few months. So at this point, you should have a cube that looks a bit like this, and what we're gonna do is solve the top cross. Now, there's a lot of different orientations that it could be in, so I'm gonna try and go over every single case that there is. So let's say that you have um, more pieces on the yellow cross right now than I do, which is none. Uh, if so, just hang tight for one second. I'm gonna be starting with this case where you have absolutely none. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is have it on any side. It doesn't really matter because what we're gonna try and do is get two pieces up to the top. So to do that, you do front, right, U prime, right prime, front prime, left prime, U, and then left. So just like that, now we're gonna have two of the pieces on top. Now, if you have two pieces on top, what you're gonna wanna do is put them in the top right, so one on top and one on the right here, and then do the same exact algorithm that you did before. So let's say you have it over here, just turn it like this, and then you're gonna do that same algorithm where you do front, right, up prime, right prime, uh, front prime, left prime, up, and then left. And just like that, the cross should be solved. Now there's also a case, instead of having the pieces here and here, you have a straight line on top. Now if you do that, what you're gonna do is basically have it where it's like this, so left and right, and then do that same algorithm. So the front, right, U prime, right prime, F prime, L prime, U, and then the L. And just like that, you should have this case. Now there's a few other algorithms that you can do that make it a little bit faster, but I'm gonna try and explain this in as least algorithm as possible so you guys can learn to solve it without having to know too much. Then from there, you can then learn more to make it a little bit faster. So that right there are the three steps that you need to know to get to the top cross. If you already had the top cross solved, you can just skip those steps and ignore them for now, but you will definitely encounter cases where you have to go through those steps. So one more time to recap, if you don't have any of them, uh, if you have no yellow pieces on top, what you're gonna do is just do that algorithm that I showed, and then you're gonna get two up top, and then put them to the top and to the right, and then do the algorithm again. And then if you have just that front line, put it so it's as the left and right, and then do the algorithm one more time, and then you'll have this case. And so one more time, just like that. So now you're gonna have the cross, and there are a various number of positions that it can be in. So you're gonna have to learn two algorithms. I'll show you them now, and I'll show you how to apply them. So the first one is called soon, and what this is is where you do a right, up, right prime, up, right, up, up, right prime. So really, how I remembered it was up, flick, down, flick, up, flick, flick, down. It's very quick and you definitely will need to know this. And there's also the same thing, which is the uh, on the left side, this is called the anti-soon. Same thing, uh, where, but it's left prime, U prime, left, U prime, left prime, U prime, U prime, left. So same thing you can remember is up, flick, down, flick, up, flick, flick, down just like that, so you're flicking with your pointer finger, and you can do these very quickly. So now, there's actually a few cases where you'll need to know how to do them. So if you have the cross, and one more, this is where you're gonna apply the soon, and then you're gonna have the top cross, or the top face solved completely. So when you have the cross and one more, what you're gonna do is put it where this piece is on the bottom. Then from here, you're gonna look 
and see where this piece is at. So if you have this and there's no yellow piece, you're gonna turn it so it's on the right side instead of the left. And you'll see that they have the yellow piece here. And this means this is where you're gonna start the suit. So if you have it on this side, you're gonna do it with the right. But if you have it on this side, you're gonna do it from the left. So up, flick, down, flick, up, flick, flick, down. And just like that, you'll have it solved. However, there are a lot of different cases, and I'm gonna try and go over each one, and you'll have to apply the soon twice if you don't have it where there's just one. So if you don't have any yellow pieces on top, what you're gonna do is turn it until the right side has one, and then nothing is on the right side, and then you're gonna do the regular soon. And then you can then do the soon again after you flip it. Now, if you have the opposite corner solved, what you can do is make it so this one is on the left side and then do a regular soon and then turn it once and then do the anti soon. Now, if you have this one where they're on the same side, so it sort of looks like a tank, uh, there's two different cases. So there's ones where they're facing this way and then there's ones where the yellow ones are on this side and on this side. When you have the ones where it's not facing you, so uh, this one's called headlights where they're facing you, when you don't have that case, what you'll do is have this facing to the left and then do the regular soon and then do the anti soon. Now if you have the case where you have the tank and then the headlights are facing towards you, what you're gonna do is keep it this way and then do regular soon, turn it twice, and then do the anti soon. So that should be all of the cases of the yellow cross. And once you apply the soons and anti soons, then you should get something like this. Uh, if you can't remember certain cases, that's okay. You can just kind of keep applying the soons and anti soons until you really just get to the one where there's one extra piece and then you can do the crack soon. So this next part is pretty confusing, but I'll try and explain it the best I can. So we're gonna want to make all the sides look like this one where everything matches except the one right here. And to do that, what you're gonna wanna do is actually look at the top left corner and the top right corner of the face next to it. And then you'll see if they match. Now these two, red and orange, they don't match. So we're gonna check one over and green and green, they do match, which is what we want. However, whenever the left side doesn't match and the next side does, then that means the next side will also match. So there's always gonna be two that match and two that don't match. And you're gonna always want to do the one that has the right side of two that match. So you're gonna be checking these two match. So you're always gonna wanna check the next side. And if they do match, you're gonna use this. And if they don't match, then you're gonna to wanna to use this one. So what I mean by use this one is we're gonna line this side up so that it matches these two. So turn it this way. And now these will match. Now from here, what you're gonna do is kind of a long algorithm. This is one of my least favorites. It's gonna be right down, so right prime, front, right prime, now back twice, one, two, and then it's gonna be right, front prime, right prime, back twice, and then right twice. And then you should have something that looks like this. Now you may have something a little different, but all of these should be correct. So you may not have a side that's all solved, but most likely you do, but there's like a one in eight chance or something like that where these two will be mixed up and these two will be mixed up. But at this point, you should have something that has the corners solved. Now, if you have a case where none of the corners match each other and it looks something like this, what you can do is really just line one up and then perform the algorithm that I showed, and then you should have two that line up just like that. So you should have something that looks like this where one side is solved. And if you have something that looks like this where all four of them are not solved, but very close, 
then just hang on for one second. I'll explain your case in just a minute. But starting with this, you're gonna put the solve side in the back and you're gonna look at this piece and see where it needs to go. So I know that this is green, it needs to go to the green side. So that means since it needs to go to the right, you're gonna start with the left soon, so the anti soon. And then you're basically just gonna do a right soon after rotating this. So really you can just look at the top, see that you'll need to do a right soon to solve the top. And it should be solved. Now if you need to move it to the left side, you're gonna do the exact opposite. So the green needs to go here, so you're gonna start with the regular soon on the right side, turn it this way, and then do the anti soon. And you should have it solved. Now there's still two more cases I need to talk about. One of them looks like this, where this needs to go to that side, and this needs to go that side. So basically the centers need to be swapped this way and this way. Really all you need to do is the same thing you did before, it doesn't really matter. Just do a soon, and then turn it this way, then do an anti soon. And then you should be in the case that I talked about earlier. Now you may also have the case where these two are switched and these two are switched. And if you have that, just do a soon, then turn it, do an anti soon, and then you should have the back solved, put the back to the solve position, and then move this to the left, and it'll be soon, and then turn, and then anti soon. And just like that, it should be solved. And that should be all of the cases that you need to be able to solve your Rubik's Cube. So hopefully yours is now solved, or at least you know the steps to do it. I recommend writing down all of the algorithms to really help you learn how to do it and really have it memorized. If you have any questions or any troubles, please let me know in the comments if you ever get stuck anywhere. I'd love to try and help you out because I understand the first time you're doing it can be a little bit difficult. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to try and help you. If you have any more ideas for any future Tutorial Tuesdays, I'd also love to hear from you in the comments. So thank you guys for watching. I know that it has been a very long video series to get to this point. It's probably been about seven or eight months, but finally got it done. So thank you one more time for watching. Peace.